Hello! In this next video, we will be discussing folder and file management using key files on the BrilleNote Touch Plus. Organization is an incredibly important skill to have and to be efficient at. Being organized allows you to be prepared for various things such as your classes or even as an adult, you will find that organization of your documents and files will allow you to be prepared for more meetings and events that you attend and participate in. It's important to know where your files and folders are and how to quickly get to them. It's also important to note that being organized is not something that you do one day and you're done with it. You need to continually review your documents and determine what to keep, what to throw away or delete, and what to archive or save for the long term. And also consider what do you need to have readily available to you. So this is a task you could complete daily, weekly, or monthly, depending on your needs and what works best for you. So for storing files on the BrilleNote Touch Plus, you have a few different options, and we are going to talk about that in our first section. So we'll go through some basics, like how to uh, navigate to your file manager, and then the different ways that you can store files on the BrilleNote Touch Plus. I want to add that if you have your cheat sheets embossed, please have those out as they will help you go through this um, video section or, the, or this video rather. And I also want to encourage you to pause um, after each section and practice what was discussed. There are different ways and places to store your files and folders on the BrillNote Touch Plus. The Touch itself has built-in storage, which is called the hard drive, or you could also use an SD card or a thumb drive to save your files and folders. Keep in mind, you will only be able to save on a thumb drive or an SD card if they are inserted correctly into your Touch, so that is very important. So basically, when it comes to files and folders, you're going to want to decide where, like what, you know, do you want to store them on your hard drive? Do you want to store them on um, external storage, like an SD card or a thumb drive? But everything else, once you determine where a thing is going, your commands are all the same no matter where you store them. So first, let's go ahead and check out these options. So to get to key files, we're gonna start from our main menu. And I'm already at my main menu, so you can get to your key files two different ways. You can press F and use um, key letter navigation, or you can use your thumb keys and scroll down until you get to the file manager. I am going to press F and use first letter navigation, and then I'll hit enter. Um, to open it up. File manager, key files. Drive selection, key files, storage. And so I'm going to scroll down using my thumb keys. And right now it's, I'm on the storage, which is the hard drive. I is 32 GBSD. So the next uh, name that it just shared is the name of the SD card that's inserted. Another thing that I want to point out to you, and then also um, if I had a USB inserted, it would say whatever the name of that was as well. So then I would have three choices to store on. I do want to point out that going back to our storage, storage, I'm going to open that up because I want to show you some existing folders that are already on the hard drive. So again, I can open this up by pressing enter or pressing one of the cursor router buttons. Go alarms folder. And as we scroll through, I want you to listen for the different folders that are already existing on your hard drive. We are not going to be going into a lot of discussion about these in this video, but I just want you to know that they're there. So the first one is alarms. Android folder. Sim folder. Documents folder. Download folder. K-N-F-B-R-E-A-D-E-R folder. And that's K-N-F-B reader. Movies folder. Music folder. Notifications folder. Pictures folder. Podcasts folder. Ringtones folder. Test folder. 
and the test folder is one that I created on on it so it doesn't come on the the touch bottom and there we have it um a really important thing to remember is using your back key um, to get out a folder. So I want to go back to the parent folder of these folders, which is storage. So I'm going to press my back button. Drive selection, storage. And then here I'm back in my um, open file manager. So I would like you to take a few moments and on your own device, explore these folders and explore um, getting in and out of um, if you have an SD card or a USB or just exploring um, how to get to your hard drive. All right. In this next section, once you have gotten familiar with your um, file manager, we are going to go over how to create new folders as well as how to create a new folder within a folder. Next up is creating folders. Again, this is an important start to staying organized because you need to know where your items and documents are located and it helps to have um, good clear names or descriptions for your folders. For the purposes of, purposes of this video, I'm going to use English class as an example. Um, so you can organize your own folders based on your needs or your courses or just what works for you. So to create a new, um, so what, what I want to do is create a new folder for my English class assignments, and I'm going to do so on the hard drive. So we're going to walk through this process together from the start. So I'm already at my main menu. I'm going to do F for file manager. File manager, key files. I'm going to hit enter. Drive selection, key files, storage. And I want to select storage because I'm going to do this on my hard drive and I'm already um, on storage. So I'm going to hit enter again. Go alarms folder. And it puts me in the list of folders that we just went over that are already on the hard drive storage of the touch. So all I need to do to create a new folder is do the command space N. Edit box folder. So immediately, this is going to put me into an edit box that's going to allow me to name my folder. I am going to name this folder English. F-G-L-I dots one, four, six. And then once I have named my folder, I'm going to hit enter. English key files, K-N-F-B-R-E-A-D-E-R folder. And it's putting me back in the list of folders that are already on the storage drive. And so sometimes what I like to do, this is just me, but I'll use my scroll buttons and I'll just make sure that my folder did create. So they are going to always be listed in alphabetical order. English folder. And there it is. Now, if we wanted to take our organization a step further, um, perhaps you're in English class for a whole school year and your school year is divided up um, into quarters or maybe trimesters, you could additionally create more folders within your English folder to meet those needs. So I'm going to go ahead and create a folder within a folder to show you. And again, it's super easy. So we're going to go into the folder by pressing enter. Go to parent folder. And it's placed me right in my folder. And all I need to do to create another folder within a folder is to do that space N command for a new folder. Edit box, folder. And again, it's the same process as before. I'm going to title this folder quarter one. U A R T dots one, two dot A. And then I have quarter one. I'm going to press enter. One key files. Go to parent folder. All right. And so to go to the parent folder, what they mean by parent folder is the folder that the folder you are in is housed in. So I'm going to hit my back button to do that. Go alarms folder. 
And so let's make sure that I created the folders that I intended to. So I'm going to use uh, first letter navigation this time to go to my English folder. English folder. I've jumped right to that folder. I'm going to press enter. Order one folder. And there's my new folder. So that's how you create not only new folders, but folders within folders. The next thing I want to go over are some file manipulation commands. And basically what file manipulation is, is things that you can do um, to your files and folders. These are all listed on your cheat sheet, so please feel free. I am going to say each one and what the command is to do to do that action, um, but please feel free to review these on your cheat sheet as well. So to select your storage drive, the shortcut to do that is space plus D. If you want to mark and unmark your file that's in focus, and we will talk about that a little bit more in the next section, that's backspace plus L. If you want to mark or unmark all of your files, you can do an enter and do a full braille cell, which is dots one, two, three, four, five, six. To get file information, that command is space plus I. If you want to do the where am I command, hit space plus dots one, five, and six. I'm going to give you a moment now to pause this video and practice these commands and then come back when you're ready. Next, we have some commands that you may be familiar with with word processing on a computer or even on the touch. So cut is backspace plus X, copy, is backspace plus Y, paste, backspace plus V, delete, backspace plus dots two, three, five, and six, and then rename is backspace plus R. Again, take a moment to practice these commands and come back when you're ready. The last three we're going to review are search, which is space plus F, sort, which is space plus V, and then new folder, which we've already talked about, which is space plus N. Again, take a moment to practice these, and when you're ready, come back. As you heard me mention in the last section, I talked about marking files. So this next video clip is going to talk about marking files and how to unmark them as well. The next, the next thing I want, want to demonstrate, demonstrate that, that is, is going, going to be really, really important. important. So in the previous section, I talked about commands you can use to manipulate your folders. So that was presented to you in the context of doing one command to one folder. Now there may be instances that you want to do a command to several folders at one time. An example of this might be that you want to copy all of the um, files in your English folder, so quarter one and quarter two, and cut them and then paste them onto a thumb drive versus having them stored on your hard drive. So to do this at the same time, you need to make sure that you mark both of the files. Marking a file is super simple. All you need to do is do a backspace L. Quarter two folder marked. Quarter one folder. Quarter one folder marked. So I've navigated to the folders that I wanted to mark and I did a backspace L. Now, in the case that you mark a folder that you don't mean to mark, all you have to do is do another backspace L. Quarter one folder. And you have unmarked your folder. So go ahead and give marking folders a try. Next, we're going to talk about moving files. And this can be handy when you want to move a file or folder from one storage location to another. Perhaps you have a document saved on your um, hard drive and you want to move it to a thumb drive. 
Finally, I would like to demonstrate two different commands or processes for folder manipulation that I think are pretty common and that you will find useful as you're getting started with your BrailleNote Touch Plus. The first thing that I want to show you is how to copy folders to a different um, folder or file location. So to do that, we're going to use the skills we learned in the previous section, which is to mark folders. So I'm going to go in my quarter one or my, I'm already in my English folder and I'm going to mark my quarter one and quarter two folders. Quarter one folder marked. Quarter two folder. Quarter two folder marked. Now I've marked my two folders and now I can, whatever um, manipulation command I choose, it will apply to both of them. So I am going to um, cut both of these folders and then move them onto my SD card. So the command for cutting is backspace plus X. Cut. All right, I have cut my folders and now I'm going to move back out um, into the parent folders and go to my SD card. And alarms folder, drive selection, storage. So I'm gonna move down to my SD card. I is 32 GB SD. Press enter. Dollar VRDTB folder. And then I'm going to paste my folders onto my SD card. And I am going to do that by entering the command backspace V. And quarter one folder marked. And so I wanna check and make sure that those folders were pasted. Quarter two folder marked. Quarter one folder marked. Loss.dir fold quarter one folder marked. Great. So my folders were pasted onto my SD card. And so let's go and make sure that they're no longer on my storage drive anymore and get some practice um, getting out of a parent folder. So we're going to hit backspace. Drive selection. Storage. We're going to hit enter. Go alarms folder. And let's go to our English folder. English folder. Go to parent folder. And we have no folders in our English folder. So we successfully cut and um, pasted our quarter one and quarter two folders into a um, new storage device. Finally, I want to show you how to delete folders. So we're going to go back to our SD card. Go alarms folder, drive selection, storage, eyes 32 GPSD, dollar VRD TV folder. All right, and now I'm in my SD card and I'm going to find those folders, um, quarter one and quarter two with first letter navigation. Quarter one folder. All right, so the folder's no longer marked, so I'm going to go ahead and do a backspace L. Quarter one folder marked. Quarter two folder. Quarter two folder marked. So I've marked my quarter one and quarter two folders by pressing backspace L. So to delete the, these folders, I'm going to do the command backspace plus dots two, three, five, six. That's backspace two, three, five, six. Well, are you sure you want to delete marked items? And I'm sure. Okay. So I'm going to hit enter on the okay button. Key files deleted. Go to parent folder and they're deleted. So now this would be a great time for you to practice um, cutting and pasting some of the folders that you made up for practice. Thanks for watching.